Coming to the beach on the 4th of July can be crowded with no place to park. And this year it was especially hot. But as West Shoes Michelle Meredith reports, that did not stop hundreds of people from hitting up the beach in Brevard County. Cocoa Beach, 4th of July, and the temperature is hotter than a firecracker. It's wonderful. The water is great. The waves are wonderful. Everything's wonderful. Atmosphere is awesome. Can't complain. Except that it's hot as beep. <laughs> but that was part of the deal, and the challenge was accepted. Like the Rios family, set up a combo camp and food tent to stage a raucous family reunion with folks flying in from Mexico, Puerto Rico, Chicago, and Connecticut. It's, it's hot out here, but when you're with, the, with this family here, hey, you can't beat it. You're not going to complain. It could be 120. And I'm not never going to complain because we got the best family out here right now. You love them that much? That much. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much fun are you having? 11. Yeah. 11. Yes, man. You know, we... 19. 19, 19 yeah, oh, 19. 19 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> now, this 4th of July is sandwiched between two weekends. Some people celebrated last weekend, some are celebrating this weekend, and others are taking the whole week. And with that said, in between trips to the beach this week and dipping in the blue jewel water, Nelda found enough time to go dancing. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We had fun. We had fun. And what's more American than that? Having fun and letting freedom ring. In Brevard County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.